Hey everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Marta aka Obscure Beauty and I'll be your host for today. <laughs> today I want to talk about insecurities and how these might reflect on your art and how I've been trying to deal with my insecurities because there are plenty. So not to keep you waiting, let's start. This project was a bit of a weird one and this is basically because drawing backgrounds was and um, still is one of my pet peeves. But if I think about it, this was exactly the reason why I didn't draw for 8 years. I was so scared of failing I wouldn't do anything related to art. Yeah, sometimes I doodle something but just looking at it would remind me of just how much better I used to draw and that alone was enough to take the mood away for months in a row. I still don't know exactly what made me want to start drawing last year, but surely I wouldn't be here today without all of your amazing support. But that same insecurity I had is still very present nowadays, and it reflects on my art in a lot of ways. And I know that when I feel it more strongly in my head is when my art comes out, I don't know, worse or maybe less inspired? It's hard to classify any art piece as bad, especially when, you know, if you're drawing consistently, you'll always improve somehow, even if you don't think so or if you can't pinpoint exactly where. This insecurity of mine is the reason I don't do one style only. Well, one of the reasons. Basically, when I started drawing last year, I only did this semi-realistic painterly style, which I still do. I was really fast initially and charged what I thought it was enough to cover it. However, it soon became obvious I was taking longer and longer as I tried to squeeze in more details. That style became fairly unbearable to me as my insecurities started flooding in. I started thinking I take too long or I detail too much. But also, I don't detail enough because I had certain standards I wanted to achieve. Insert professional goal here <laughs> with less than a year of experience. And I started hating the whole process. I wanted to charge for the amount of hours I actually took making the painting, but that would inevitably decrease the amount of commissions. And so, I created a new style, a sketchy style, which I still love. It is in fact quicker and at one point I did have to close my commissions as too many people got interested and I wanted to have time to do something else with more colors and shading involved. But the freedom of this style. Yes, it can still go wrong, but the lighting doesn't matter as much and there is no background. Oh, it is freeing. But, like I said, as much as I like the pencil and minimalistic look, I did miss seeing some colors on my feet and soon after the semi-tuned style appeared. The same style I used for this painting, if you can believe. The idea was to quickly lay some flats and very lightly shade or tone the illustration and then call it a day. And initially, it was exactly like that. And as I started getting commissions and doing it more often, my little obsession for perfection and slightly more realistic look started kicking in and soon I was taking almost the same time as the previous illustrations. And that's where my insecurity comes from. I don't like and I don't want to paint realistically. However, by watching amazing concept artists who manage to make the unreal appear real, I always wanted to be able to do that, and I can't yet, which is fine, <laughs> as I've only been doing it for a year, but it's very hard to deal with. Every time I draw, there's a battle in my head about the amount of details I try to paint and how realistic the lighting is. I then try and get critique, which usually makes me feel worse as I realize all the mistakes that I've made and almost want to leave the painting undone. And then I start fearing it. Again, my thoughts go, what if the commission is going to be on that style, or that style, or worse yet? What if the commissioner wants, good heavens, a background? Because, you know, if drawing improves with time and I've only been drawing characters, well, isn't it obvious that my backgrounds will be lacking? But again, it's so hard to come to peace with it. When I started this painting, I only meant to do a quick sketch to illustrate my story masked, which I am, very slowly I should say, telling to my patrons, because I had already painted the main illustration for the chapter I posted. However, I really wanted to depict the situation a bit more. 
You see, the beginning of my story is solely centered around Liz, and Liz being the character here. And I find that only my words are not enough to actually convey the message that I want. So I wanted to bring more colors and meaning to this illustration, and soon I decided to paint a background. I tried initially a more traditional look with gouache brushes, but soon decided I couldn't bear to see it. Truth be told, the main background style I like for these cartoon characters is sort of the Ghibli kind of backgrounds. So I gathered a few tutorials and references and tried my best. The lighting was the worst part, as no matter what I tried, I couldn't seem to achieve the right look. I wanted most of the picture in shadows, with only some light coming through the leaves and trees shining on her. In the end, I did ask for critique, and used even more references to try and make it work. It's mainly a mixture of round and straight lines making random shapes. Is it perfect? It most definitely is not. But I've learned a lot with this painting. I've learned a bit on how to make better trees and foliage on the background, and I especially learned just how hard it is to paint semi-transparent water. And with each painting on this style, I learned how to organize the layers better, and how to simplify the character's shading. A bit like I did on the previous video, I overdid my initial shading and lighting, and then simplified it afterwards. I guess it's a bit of a learning curve until I get hold of the heart shading technique. Because if you overdo it, it does look a bit crowded, in my opinion, of course. But that's all artwork. Mentally, I had to win this fight in another way. A way that would allow me to actually finish a painting that, as all the others, it can always be perfected again and again, if you are unsure of what you actually want to achieve. So, I guess that one of the ways you can deal with this is imposing a limit on yourself. Only change the illustration one or two times after you think you've finished. Or none at all. Art can be as you want. It's yours. And if you, like me, almost stop having fun because you get so obsessed with little details or trying to become like a certain other artist, then you might need to do the same as me and constantly repeat these sort of mantras to yourself. Art is subjective, it is where you want it to be. And sometimes less detail is better, as reality is already everywhere you look. And also sometimes you just need to do what you think it looks better on the painting, rather than how reality would actually look. And I think that's really hard. Doing what you think is better than what's on the photo you're using as a reference. Decreasing the amount of details, so that something in specific stands out. It comes with practice. It's an art, would you be surprised? <laughs> but I think that if you want to be an artist full-time, if you really wish to be an artist, and if you suffer with these insecurities, then you really just have to tell yourself over and over that art needs mostly to be fun and pleasant. And there's no point in doing it if it's just going to make you miserable. For that, almost any other job will pay you reasonably well, with less problems regarding social media. Trust me on that. Be it a commission or not, Choose something, maybe one thing you want to improve on that painting. But otherwise, just draw and paint the way it brings you the most joy and pleasure. The art will reflect that, and there's also less chances of you finding issues with it later on, as your mood will be raised from the whole experience. After all, most people use art to make themselves feel better, so why wouldn't we? We are the artists after all. Am I right? And with that, I end my session today. I hope you enjoyed my little ramble. I'll keep trying to improve this kind of video, but I'd be really, really happy if you could write down your thoughts down below in the comments, because, you know, that will provide me some sort of feedback. And please don't forget to keep supporting this channel, like this video and, you know, potentially subscribe to me for more videos like this and other kinds, till I figure out what I'm actually doing. If you got this far, I've got some small news. I started streaming again on Twitch, so I put the link down on my description. If you want to check, just have a go and come and join me. I don't really have a schedule, but I'm working on it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm over and out, and as usual, have a great weekend and stay safe. See you next week. Bye.